guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kelly here. If you're new to my channel, this is my face. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and wet that notification bell so you will never miss another video from me. And I try to upload between five and six times a week, no longer seven days a week because, you know, life happens. And I came across, you know, my grandparents visiting house renovations and all that jazz and this summer we are going to be doing a lot more renovations which I will probably vlog for you guys. I'm talking really fast today I don't know why so please don't judge me on that but you know it is what it is. Today so I'm going to be sharing with you guys some summer hairstyles that incorporate accessories. Now I know I showed you guys like you know summer hairstyles with all the braids and everything like just your hair and a hair tie you know but I thought you know what about dressing them up you know that's a trending thing right now especially with you know the headbands and the hats and everything and I personally use some hair accessories that I don't see a lot of people using so I thought I would share them with you guys one of which I've been using for years like years and years and years I make myself sound like I'm really old but I'm really not so yeah most of these have come from Amazon Rainbow Walmart and I think that's it I think that's it and they're all pretty cheap that's the end of that so without further ado let's get right into the video okay you guys so in this tutorial I'm gonna talk you guys through it and not do a voiceover just because some things I find will be better like if I talk about it in the video instead of just doing a voiceover and showing you so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is one of these headbands. It is this stuncy headband that has like the little tie in the front. Okay, so when we have it over our head like this, make sure the little knot is like in the front. And I am keeping my side part. You guys can see that I have a side part up here in front of my face. And then I'm just going to pull this up and over. And me personally, I tuck my headband behind my ears. This is the most easy, simple hairstyle, and it's seriously just putting the headband on over your hair. And honestly, this just adds a little bit of a touch to your hair, like a little look. So this is the first summery hairstyle with the headband, and I love it. This little knot that's up here, it is so cute, you guys. These are trending, and I just think it's one of the most amazing things ever. Okay, so the next hair tool is something that used to be called Easy Combs. I'm not sure what they're called now, but I've been using them forever, literally forever. Ever since they came out, my hair is like thick. It's a mess. But, but these have helped me so much. You can wear them with a ponytail, your hair down, with braids, anything like that. I'm just going to show you guys simply how to use it by you know pulling your hair back so I'm gonna flip around and show you guys what's going on okay guys so what you do with these is you're going to hold it like this to where the combs are outside and you're going to put your you're gonna put your fingers in between the combs like this pull it around your hair make sure your hair is like on the side you're going to push the comb into your hair. Sometimes you have to be firm. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. You're going to flip it so that the comb goes in towards your hair. Adjust it how you would like it. And I like to push mine together. And this is the look. And they have these in so many different colors, you guys. It's crazy. And I just think that it's super easy and quick and I absolutely love the detailing and there's so many of these and it creates like a layering effect with your hair which is really really nice. So this is the front of my hair with that done and you can honestly just like pull your hair to the side. It kind of looks like you have a little half pony kind of but this is like it's smooth. It's smooth and you have that little like detailing behind your hair and it's just so pretty. And like I said, these used to be called Easy Combs. I'm not sure what they're called now. I know Easy Combs still exist somewhere in the world. But you can't find them at Walmart. Um, I, I used to buy them offline. I mean online. But I don't know where they're sold at this point in time. So, 
yeah, this is one of my ultimate go-tos. It's super duper cute and it's really easy to use. Okay guys, so the next hairstyle I think you guys might think is a little bit crazy, but it's not. I promise you it's not. So I am going to be using chopsticks for my hair and I know you guys are saying like chopsticks, really? Why? So these are really cool to just carry around with you when you want to just pin your hair up. Some people do it with pencils and whatever, but I think it's kind of not good for your hair to be having you know lead in your hair and everything and if you use a non sharpened pencil I don't think it will stick very well so with these there's like textured ends so that's really helpful and plus they have these pretty flower patterns on them and I think I showed these in one of my other videos but I'm gonna show you guys what I do with them okay guys so the first thing that you want to do is you want to of course bring all of your hair back and we're going to do a low bun so of course you're going to gather all of your hair and you're just going to twist your hair and make a basic bun. Oh my gosh, my nail. Oh, well, that happened. Okay, so you can basically just play around with it however you want it. My hair has That is the overall hairstyle and I personally like it when some of my hairs fall out just because it adds that summery vibe to it but this is what it looks like. So this hairstyle is mainly like a messy effortless look so of course I personally, personally like my ends to come out when I'm finished with it but you guys can honestly do this however you please, however you like it. I just think that with the chopsticks, it's a very quick and easy hairstyle. You guys can seriously carry these around in your purse. And you know what? Even if you want to get chopsticks from a restaurant, as long as they haven't touched your food, I guarantee they work just as well. I got these off of Amazon, and I think they were maybe like $10, but I got a pack of five. So that's really cool. It's cheap, and I think that they're beautiful for the summertime, especially just if you want something quick and easy. Moving on to the next hairstyle, I have some clips that I've gotten from Walmart and I know they used to sell these quite frequently. I'm not really sure what the status is of them now. Okay, so I have these little hair clips and these were so popular and I still think that they're an absolutely beautiful accessory. So I'm going to show you guys what I personally do and you guys can either opt to do it the way I do it or you guys can change around making your own. So. Let's get right into so it. For this part, you're going to need a hair tie. So I simply just take my hair and I pull half of it back, but I leave it to where it's still low because I don't like to use the pin with it being all like on top and everything. So I'm gonna tie this in a ponytail and I do like a little bit of a messy textured top. So if you don't like that you can just you know even it out or if you want to pull it down and make it a little bit more loose you can do that as well so once you have that step done you're then going to take your clip and you can use any clip that you want but for the purpose of this hairstyle i'm going to put the flower over the hair tie and if you have hair that sits good with clips you don't have to do this but Okay guys, so this next hairstyle is very similar to the previous one, only it skips the hair tie and all, and it's a different type of clip. So this is the clip that I am going to be using, and it's one of the ones that opens like this. So yeah, it has the nice pretty pastel colors, which I am so happy because it reminds me of Taylor Swift's new single. Me, if you guys have not heard that, I really would recommend going and, you know, listening to it because let me tell you guys, it 
it's just amazing I listen to it every morning every time I'm in the car every time you know I'm listening to music and it also matches you know my top with a little clip isn't that just adorable that's adorable so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this hairstyle before I go you know on a whole swifty like you know talk and just never stop so yeah so to begin this hairstyle what I'm gonna do is once again take half of my hair but I'm gonna go in a little bit more of an upward motion and I'm just going to make sure that all the excess hair is on the bottom and for this one I just smooth it out with my fingers I don't really take my part away but I make sure that it's nice and smooth on top to how I like it and then when I get to that point I simply add a little bit of a twist to make sure that it's firm just like that and I'm gonna take my clip and I'm just going to clip that in place and there you have it this is a very so this is what this hairstyle looks like in the front a lot of these look very similar but the back is really you know most people look at the back of your head not really you know your face let's just say they're talking in front of somebody but this is really cute it's super duper easy and it keeps your hair out of your face and it's secure both of the clips that I've used, this one and the one that's in my hair, are very, very secure. And I absolutely just adore these clips. Like, they're beautiful. They're beautiful, very summery, and they're very bright. And I love the fact that they're bright because they're really... Okay, you guys, so the next one is for these, like, beach lovers and the ones that like to do with the pool and everything. I want to have something that keeps their face covered, but you can also look here at the same time. So, I got this hat from Walmart, and it was the cheapest one, but like I've said to you guys before, I am not, like, the most expensive shopper I actually like to go cheap so this is what I have so here's the hat and I think it is so cute you guys I actually feel like I'm having Sharpay vibes right now which is odd but you know just looking like that cute little beach babe so I'm going to pull all of my hair to the side with this hat on <laughs> And the reason why I do it with the hat on is because it keeps all of the hair, like, you know, in place. So now I'm going to take my hair tie and I'm going to keep this on my wrist. You know, that's bad for your wrist, but if it's, like, looser, it's not as bad. So I am going to do a fishtail braid and I'm going to just do this on camera for you guys. This is going to be a chunky fishtail braid. And I'm actually going to do a reverse fishtail, which is you take one piece from the outermost section of your hair and you bring it underneath to the next section of hair and this is once again like it's a little bit difficult to start but I actually find the reverse fishtail to be a lot easier than the regular fishtail just because the way that I learned it I used my finger to poke out the hair and I twist it underneath so I find this to be a lot easier and it helps me get, get it done faster if I was doing this off camera, I'd honestly have this whole hairstyle done in like less than two minutes. But because I'm doing it slower and speaking to you guys, it's going to take, you know, probably a little bit longer than that. But fishtails are honestly one of the best summer hairstyles in my opinion. And also if you were to do it while your hair is not completely wet, but like a little bit damp and you leave that in overnight like we did French fishtails, you guys, the waves that you get are beautiful. They're gorgeous, and I just might not make a video for you guys on it because who doesn't like heatless curls or heatless waves? Honestly, some people have it so easy, but, you know, natural curly hair is a pain in the butt. I don't think I would want to have permanent um, curly or permanent wavy hair. My hair is mainly straight. I have a little bit of a wave to it, but not much. And as you guys can see, I have now... <laughs> reach the bottom and I didn't even notice it so I'm going to tie this off and then you guys already know what time it is it's time to pancake this baby so I like to just tug because I like my braids to be like really big and I like all the loose 
looks to it and it just adds so much to the braid. It is gorgeous. And that is the overall look. And once again, I'm gonna. Okay, guys, so for the next hairstyle, I'm going to be using this girly front tie headband. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on. Oh my gosh. Okay, so once you have that on, I'm keeping my part. And I know some people are like, why are you keeping your part? But I'm keeping my part. So I'm going to just put this up over my head like so. And for this hairstyle, I am mainly just going to pull out some front pieces just because I really like how that looks. And yes, it's longer pieces. I think that personally looks really nice on me. So yeah, these little pieces, this is pretty much the hairstyle. You just want to take pieces out front, like, you know, when you have your headband. And that is this hairstyle. It's super cute. Okay, oh, guys, so the last hairstyle utilizes another one of these fancy headbands. So the first step is to just throw it on. Once again, I am keeping my side part and I'm just going to slide this up on over my head. And for this one, before I do the actual hairstyle, I do want to pull out just some little smaller pieces, as small as I can get because my hair has been growing. So let's pull out these pieces and you're going to need a hair tie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of my hair more towards the side of my head in the back and I am going to be making a very loose bun and I'm not showing the back just because you guys know how to make a loose bun towards the side of your hair because it's earlier in my video is just to the side Then you're gonna take your hair tie and you are just going to tie that in place and it is definitely okay for you to have pieces come out because it's a summery hairstyle so this is the front of the look and I think it's absolutely girly, it's heatless and it is just gorgeous. And this is the back of the hairstyle so we have our little bun over here and I think that it is just so cute, it's so pretty, fun, flurry. You guys should seriously roll out of bed and just do this, it's super quick and easy. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and wet that notification bell so you will never miss another video from me. I really hope that you guys enjoy these hairstyles. They are all super quick and easy. All the accessories you can literally probably get from your Dollar General, Family Dollar, Walmart, Forever 21, Rainbow, anywhere of the sorts, even Amazon or Wish, which is super duper cheap. So none of these cost a huge fortune. And I really hope that you guys use these and recreate these. If you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram or Twitter or email them to me on my email, which is on my overview page that has all my information on it. So without further ado, I'm going to end this video with you guys and I will see you guys soon. And I hope, hope, hope that you guys really enjoy these videos. And if you have any hairstyle requests, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I just realized the tag is still on here. Okay. So, yeah. So, here it is.